told you this was a bad idea. I will not be part of a suicide mission. My father may be of the opinion that we've already lost, but I am not. Where were we? 60 minutes and counting. President-elect grants alternate VP. It won't work. It has to be pay us. They'll start killing people if I nominate someone else. Millie. We brought this on ourselves, Olivia. We started pushing this boulder up the hill the moment we said yes to defiance. What's defiance? <clears throat> Feeling a little parched here. Does this lockup allow for us detainees to drink? We never should have done it. What did we expect shut to up, happen? Millie. Don't tell me to shut up. My life is on the line. Okay. Perhaps if you had listened to Olivia and conceded the presidency, we wouldn't be here right now. I bet you would have loved that. You know who you can shoot next? Her. The prison hasn't changed you, has it, Cyrus? Plan, folks. Just saying, take you out of the equation. You're disgusting. Problem solved. This is what you call wit? That's enough. Worthless. What did you say? I said worthless, as in everyone in this room, as in you, as in this inconsequential, futile, worthless attempt to get rid of the problem at hand. You know I wanted to arrest you, throw you in a supermax. But she begged me, begged me to spare you. The only reason you're here, the only reason you're still standing is because of her. Show your daughter some damn respect. Thanks. And what about you, Mr. President? Should I respect you? A man who could have arrested his son's killer, but traded that chance for a cheap roll in the hay. That is why you spared me. Yes? So that you could buy your way back into my daughter's bed? I'm just cash to you. A wrinkled dollar bill thrown at the foot of a stripper. You should know all about that from your dad. Easy. Easy.